Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I want to talk to you about constructive dismissal. What is it? So loads of people get this wrong and it's actually a quite a difficult claim to bring. The reason why is because it's on the individual, the employee, to show that they resigned in response to a fundamental breach of contract. What's a fundamental breach of contract? What does all of that mean? So I'm going to break it down for you. So an individual, in order to claim constructive dismissal, has to be an employee. They have to have been employed continuously for a period of at least two years, and they have to bring the claim within three months from the date that they resigned. Ideally as well, they should resign without notice. If you don't resign without notice, you could be seen to have affirmed or accepted any alleged breaches by staying employed. So really the idea of of constructive dismissal is that your employer has forced you to leave your job and that you can't for any reason go back. Um, usually, you like I say, you'd resign without notice or you'd resign without delay. Um, so it could be uh, that something would happen on a Friday and you resign on the Monday, but you shouldn't wait like a month before um, resigning because if you do that, you will have seen to be accepting the breach, which means your claim is likely to fail. So acting promptly, is so, so important when it comes to constructive dismissal. Constructive dismissal can also be unfair. So you can argue um, that the, the dismissal itself is unfair because effectively what you're saying is you've been forced to resign um, and therefore you're claiming a loss of earnings in the tribunal, which I'll come on to. What's a fundamental breach? Now, a fundamental breach is really important. So there's two things here that we need to consider. One, is what is the fundamental breach? What is it that you've resigned in response to? Now, if you've resigned in response to having an argument with someone that you don't really like at work, um, and it's just a disagreement, it's unlikely to meet the criteria of a fundamental breach of contract. A fundamental breach might be um, a demotion, um, it might be a discrimination in the workplace, it might be um, a, a loss of um, salary or like a, a, a unilateral or uh, some kind of variation of your contract without any agreement with you. And it also could be um, where you're deducted wages or not paid. So there's lots of different examples, but it's got to be something fundamental to your contract of employment. Now, they're all express terms. It could also be a fundamental breach of an implied term. So an implied term is something like trust and confidence or good faith. These are implied into employment contracts by virtue of their nature. And all employees and employers have to mutually agree to have trust and confidence between the parties. And this can be damaged irretrievably by the employer through various means. And so sometimes individuals will rely on this as a fundamental breach of contract. So it's not that they've not paid them in accordance with their contract. It's not that there's an express term that's been breached. It's that the trust and confidence has gone. Now, this is where many employees bring their claims. And this is what muddies the water slightly because it's then showing that that breach was was fundamental enough and that it was irre irretrievable um, in terms of that breakdown. It's really, really important to show how much it damaged. And in order for you to do that, the best way to, sh to show this is that you resign straight away and that your letter of resignation is really, really clear, setting out why you resigned, what you resigned in response to, and that you've resigned without notice, without delay. So you need to get all of those elements in there. Like I say, if you don't resign without um, notice and you work the notice, uh, there, there is a strong argument for the employer to say that actually the breach can't have been bad enough um, and therefore you are unable to pursue that claim any further or you would ultimately be unsuccessful at tribunal. Not always, but the majority of cases, um, that, that is often how it ends. So an unfair dismissal claim, um, when it's a constructive unfair dismissal claim, is exactly the same in terms of the compensation. So you're entitled to a basic award, a compensatory award. Um, and basically what that means is basic award is the same as a redundancy calculation. Um, so um, it's calculated on your loss of uh, so your, your year service, your age and your uh, gross weekly pay. And then your compensatory award is calculated you looking at your loss of earnings from the effective date of termination. So from when you left your job until you get another job or from when you left your job until um, the tribunal hearing date. 
Now, losses are usually capped around 12 months. Um, obviously, if you're a high earner, um, you, you'll be capped at the statutory cap. I'm going to do another video on compensation, though, just going into it a bit more detail, because it's really important that you understand if you are resigning in response to a fundamental breach, to take advice first, to check that it's a fundamental breach, to check that you're eligible and make sure that your resignation letter is very clearly drafted to support any claim for um, unfair constructive dismissal. Now, I hope this video has been helpful. If you feel that your employer may have irretrievably broken down the relationship with you and them, and you feel that you might have a claim, um, we offer free consultation, so you're more than welcome to get in touch. Um, just email me, jodie.hill at thrivelaw.co.uk, and I will conduct a free assessment of your claim and let you know uh, whether or not I think um, that you have a claim. Also, where there are angles of discrimination, you can bring these at the same time. The time limit might might be different and I'll come on to that in another video. So thank you so much um, for watching. That was like super, super fast trying to rattle through it. I'm conscious that I'm uh, going on for quite a while now, but it's really, really important that we get some of these messages out there. Some people don't know what their rights are and they don't know um, how to construct a con construct a construct a constructive dismissal claim. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do a video on compensation soon, and I'm also going to do a video on unfair dismissal, um, specifically with a little focus around redundancy because it seems to be very, very topical at the moment. As always, please share this video. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. And uh, like I say, if you want us to assess your claim, drop me an email. Thank you.